Did you hear about the Bigfoot who broke up with his girlfriend? Yeah, he said it's not you, it's me. I just need some space, like an entire forest's worth. All right, ladies, gentlemen, and Sasquatches, if you are out there today, we're diving into the five things you absolutely should not do while hunting for Bigfoot. Because let's face it, we all want to find Bigfoot, but no one wants to become Bigfoot's dinner. Number one, do not, and I repeat, do not try to lure out Bigfoot with a tray of beef jerky. While this might work on your dog or your Uncle Bob after a couple of beers, Bigfoot is a sophisticated creature. He's more into gourmet food like truffles and smoked salmon. If you're going to try a food lure, at least make it classy. Number two, do not attempt to communicate using Morse code. Bigfoot is more of a body language kind of guy. Waving your flashlight around in the darkness will likely just attract a bunch of confused campers or possibly an irritated park ranger. Instead, try interpretive dance or expressive miming. Number three, do not wear a gorilla suit. Yes, we know you think it is a brilliant disguise, but there are two problems with this strategy. Firstly, Bigfoot might mistake you for a long-lost relative and try to take you home to meet the family. Secondly, you might scare the living daylights out an innocent hiker, causing them to run off screaming, effectively ruining your chances of a Bigfoot sighting. Number four, do not try to capture Bigfoot by digging a giant hole. This isn't a cartoon, folks, and Bigfoot isn't while E. Coyote. Chances are you just end up with a very annoyed park ranger, along with a hefty fine for unauthorized landscaping. And lastly, number five, do not, under any circumstances, challenge Bigfoot to a wrestling match. You might think you're tough, but remember, this is a creature that uses whole trees as toothpicks. So there you have it, folks. Five things not to do while hunting for Bigfoot. Remember, we're all in this hunt together, so let's be smart, let's be safe, and above all, let's make sure we don't end up as a punchline in a Bigfoot stand-up comedy routine because trust me, Bigfoot's sense of humor is as big as his foot, and you don't want to be on the receiving end of that.